Hi there. Good day. Welcome to Camglish.com. I am Teacher Karen, and we are here for another lesson about expressions. In our last lesson, we talked about expressions used in expressing your state of health and happiness. Expressions used in telling how you have been doing in a, pa a positive manner. And expressions used in telling how you have been doing in a neutral way. Now we are going to start with expressions used in telling how you have been doing in a negative way. When someone asks, how are you? And we're not that feeling good, we can say, not good, or not well, or not great. How are you? Not good. We can also say, not so good. How are you? Not very well. Not too good. Not too good. How are you? I've been under the weather. Under the weather means that you are somewhat ill or not healthy. How are you? Kind of crummy. And crummy means unwell or depressed. How are you? Lousy. It means unpleasant. How are you? I've seen better days. And that means you have grown older. We also have could be better or I've been better. So there, those are expressions that we can use if we're not feeling too well. So again, how are you? Not very well. How are you? I've been under the weather. Got that? Great! Next, we have expressions used in explaining that you have been busy. When someone asks you, how are things going? You can say, I'm busy. How are things going? Keeping myself busy been keeping myself busy. You can also say, I'm swamped. Be swamped means to be burdened with work or you are overwhelmed. Next we have, I'm snowed under. And be snowed under means you have too much work to do. How are things going? I don't have time to breathe. Or, I don't have time to think. And that simply means that you are too busy. Next, we have, there aren't enough hours in a day. Not a moment to spare. I've been running around with my head cut off. And this means that you already don't know what to do because of too much work. And that is almost the same as saying, I've been running around like a chicken with its head cut off. All those expressions talk about explaining that you have been busy. Got that? Good.
So again, we talked about expressions telling how you have been doing in a negative manner, and expressions used in explaining that you have been busy. And for our next lesson, we are going to start with expressions used in inviting a friend for a drink or coffee. There you go. Thank you for listening. And see you next time.